Let's see one of the most interesting problem that's finding the length of the bridge. So we got the length of the train as 130 meter and speed of the train is 45 km per hour and the train crosses the bridge in 30 seconds. These are the options available. The logic which needs to be applied is since the answer is in meters, you need to convert your kilometer per hour into meters. And you need to calculate the total distance of the train plus bridge length. And I need to calculate the speed equal to distance by time. Using this one, you got the speed, time and bit of distance, you are able to identify the length of the bridge. Let's see how we can proceed. This is the train. It's crossing the bridge in 30 seconds and the length of the train is 130 meter. So the length of a bridge is x and speed of the train we need to convert into meters using this formula. So into 5 divided by 18 meter per second. As you know the time is 30 seconds and the total distance covered is 130 the length of the train plus length of the bridge. So speed equal to distance by time. So distance is equal to 130 plus x divided by time 30 seconds is equal to the speed 25 divided by 2. So solving this equation you will be getting 2 into 130 plus x is equal to 750. So you got 2 into 130 that is 260 plus 2x is equal to 750. So 2x is equal to 750 minus 260 the answer is x equal to 245 meters. So the length of the bridge is 245 meter. Let's move on to the another train problem. Two trains are of equal length are running on parallel lines in the same direction at 46 km per hour and 36 km per hour. The faster train passes the slower train in 36 seconds. We need to calculate the length of each train. So the logic which needs to be applied is the trains of equal length. So consider it as EX and distance is equal to train 1 length plus train 2 length that is 2X. We need to find the relative speed because it is in the same direction it is U minus V is equal to speed of the train 1 and speed of train 2. Now you got the speed and time from there you are able to calculate the distance. So this is how the solution is. We got our trains it is running in 46 this one is 36. So the length of each train is x so the distance will be x plus x is 2x. Since the relative speed it is in the same direction you got u minus v speed of train 1 minus speed of train 2 that is 46 minus 36 is equal to 10 km per hour. So 10 into 5 divided by 18 we got 25 divided by 9 meter per second because the answer is in meters. So the time taken is 36 seconds and the speed is 25 divided by 9. So 2x is equal to speed into time. That's 2x is equal to 100 and x equal to 50 meters. The answer is 50 meters.